Hi guys, I uh, just want to do a quick video here. Um, we're going to look into edit points in this video. Um, now it's something we haven't been introduced to just yet, but um, we'll have a look at them just now. So what you've got in front of you is a model containing some curves, some surfaces, and some solids. Uh, we can tell the difference between the three of these. Curves are simply lines, surfaces have no volume, and solids have volume. Um, now we're going to look at how we can control and manipulate these in a really nice simple way. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is look at the curves. So we've looked at polylines so far. Um, you notice that once you create a polyline, the only thing you can do is simply move it around. Uh, you can also edit it. Um, to do this, we need to turn on edit points. So to do that, we simply just hit F10 and you'll see that those little points come up on the ends. Um, we can move those around with our gumball or with our move tool, whichever you prefer. You can see here in the front view, we can move this curve around, we can move it in the top view. I've created a curve now that bends in two dimensions. Okay. Uh, so we can do the same for this curve. We're going to hit F10. And what we'll notice here is that there are a few more points. Um, these kind of curves are called control point curves. Uh, we'll notice that the ends of the control points are on the curve. But on the section of the curve where it bends, they're off it. Um, you can imagine these as just kind of uh, little tension members that are pulling on the curve, giving it its radius. Um, this is a really nice way to create smooth flowing curves and to give us a lot of control. Um, again, we can control those in all dimensions to give ourselves a really nice curvy shape. Okay, um, to turn those control points off, we just need to hit escape and that will turn off. Okay, let's look at these surfaces. So I've got some simple surfaces here. I've got a flat plane and a curved surface. Uh, I'm just going to turn the control points on here. This works a little bit differently. Um, we just need to go to solid tools or um, yes, yeah, solid tools just here and you'll notice a little widget that says turn on solid control points. Uh, we can also do that by going solid, solid edit tools, turn on points. Okay, uh, you'll notice that the points have come up in the corners here and we can move those around to bend and twist our shape. Now you'll notice here very quickly that four-sided shapes can have a lot of complexity to them and they're not always flat. So you see here we can just move these around and manipulate these corners to create quite a cool looking surface structure there. Um, the good thing about control points is, is we can locate them accurately for instance, if we wanted this control point to meet this curve, we could just make sure we have object snapping turned on, and grab this control point with the move command, we'll select that, and we'll just snap it right to the end here. And you can see that we can join those two up really easily. Okay, I'll just undo that. Next along, uh, in the same way, we can turn the control points on for this curved surface. Uh, so again, we're going to go to Solid Edit Tools and Turn Points On. Again, we can click on these points and have a play with those. Okay. Uh, you'll also notice here, if we get out of this by hitting Escape and we hit F10 on this surface, we have some more control points. These are the surface control points. Uh, because this object is wavy, much like this line, uh, it works in the exact same way. These points control tension along the surface and it allows us to manipulate it to get it just the way we want it. Okay, so you can see here this surface has got a number of control points. We can manipulate how many it has, but we'll go into that another time. I'll just undo that there. 
can just have a look here at this um, cube. Again, we're going to hit solid, solid edit tools, turn points on. And we can move these points around to manipulate this cube. Change its form. Give us a new shape. Now you notice if we want to do this a bit more accurately, what we can do is something like this. I'm going to hit escape so we turn all these points off. And I'm just going to turn these points back on. If I select two points at once, either by using the shift key, you can see now I can move them simultaneously. And now I've retained a flat surface, but I've been able to accurately move that. If I want to do that in my plan views, what you need to do is use your lasso from right to left over that control point and that's going to select all the points that are directly in line. So you notice if I go into my perspective view you can see I have selected both points. And that's a good way to work to ensure that you're keeping everything nice and planar when you need to. We can move that up, do whatever we like. Okay. Again, I'll hit escape, I'll get out of that. Uh, and we'll finish up with this shape just here, sort of just like a curvy object. Let's see what happens when we turn the points on. Again, I'm just going to go and use the shortcut here, which is in the solid tools, um, in your standard toolbar. And we can see that we've got the same sort of points in, the, in any hard corner that we can manipulate to create some pretty interesting looking forms very quickly. Give it some plan. Uh, what we can also do is pull these together. Now what I want to do here is pull these two points to a central location. As you can see I can't do that accurately. Um, but what I can do here is just go into my top view I can hit scale. Uh, I'm going to go scale 1D. I'll start my scale from the midpoint. I'll pop it out here. And then you can see now they're going to pull together nice and evenly. And we have a nice complex shape happening here. Now I think I snapped a little bit wrong there, so I'll try that again. I want to go to my midpoint, and I want to go straight out. Okay, now you can see that I've checked that in my perspective view, and those two are coming together nicely on the same plane. Okay, that's another way you can do it. You can see how now we can really easily manipulate this shape. We could also hit escape and hit F10 on our keyboard. Oh, we can't do it for this surface. Uh, it's saying we can't turn on for poly surfaces. That's okay. Um, so we just use the edit points here. Okay, so that's something to be aware of when you want to change a form. Every form does have edit points, every shape in Rhino that you can manipulate. Okay, so whenever you want to do that, you can. Alright, thanks guys.